Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to achieve good looking cloth simulation in combination with other dynamic animations. So let's dive into it. I have this basic body and cloth meshes, that I attached to an armature with automatic weights. I also have this simple animation for testing. First thing I'm going to do is quickly add a jiggle physics to model's breast with spring bones add-on. As you can see we have breast moving. Now we can go further and add cloth simulation. Firstly add collision to our body. When setting up collision thickness pay attention to the dimensions of your model. My one has real human size, so very small values work fine. Also I forgot to mention that you need to have armature modifier above collision and cloth ones. This is very important. And also keep default scale of all of your objects. This is not less important. You can reset it with pressing Ctrl A, and selecting scale. The next step is to add a pin vertex group for the shirt to prevent movement where it's not needed. If you want symmetry enabled during weight painting pay attention to use proper axis. You can also smooth your weights after you finished in this way. And now I'm going to add a very basic cloth simulation. Nothing tricky, you might have seen a lot of these in other videos. And as expected, after baking we see this horrible clipping. To fix this we need to delete bake, go to armature and select breast bones. Press pose, animation, bake action. Make sure that you have all of these options enabled and press ok. The main point with good looking simulations in blender is to bake them one by one. If you have non baked simulation that affects another simulation, most likely you'll get issues with the second one. The less calculations per frame you have the better result you'll achieve. After baking is done we need to stop animation mode and bake cloth simulation again. So as you see, now cloth looks very good for basic settings. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any question in the comments below. Also please leave a like if this video was useful, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of such tutorials. Good luck with your art.